Hello everyone, and how's it going? Ether Song here, and today we're going to be playing the game Kind Words. Little fight, chill beats to write to. This is the description on the Steam page. A game about writing nice letters to real people. Write and receive encouraging letters in a cozy room. Trade stickers and listen to chill music. We're all in this together. Sometimes all you need are a few kind words. Let's take a look at it. Dear, dear. I'm so excited for you. Just think of... Dear dear is nice to meet you. That's me. Here's our room here. Looks like we can do a few things. Make a request, view requests, say nice things, an inbox, and decorate. Don't have any stickers currently. Oh, but there are a few uh, different room options. Let's stick with this for now. Even dog do eventually stop stinking. It'll get better. Just keep wiping your shoe off in the grass. <laughs> so there's a couple of different things here, the screensavers and whatnot, but the main appeal of this game is you're able to make requests. Talking about what's currently worrying you and things like that. You're able to view requests and respond to other people's letters anonymously. So let's look at some of the requests that are out there. What is this? I sat in my desk so long my hair is orange and skin is blue. I sleep in a bunk bed, yet to have no siblings. Who am I? Oh. It's like a riddle. I don't know how to fix my health. I find a workout, feel stupidly out of reach, or I am skeptical of it. If I do attempt it, I can't keep going for even a week, as I keep stressing myself over the mistake I make and other problems from my life. So we can take a, like, a message like this and we can give some encouraging words. So I don't know how to fix my health. When I find a workout, it feels stupidly out of reach, and I'm skeptical of it. If I do attempt it, I can't keep going for even a week, because I keep stressing myself over every mistake I make and other problems in my life. I think there's times like this where everyone feels kind of overwhelmed or like they're not doing it right. They feel like they can't keep going and they're not making any progress. But an important thing I think is just small steps. Even if it's something small, it's still progress. And those small steps add up.
Hmm. Yeah, it's okay to start small. Like, if worried about health and workout. I think like even just going outside, you know, every day for a little walk, it doesn't need to be a full on workout. And perhaps even going outside is difficult some days. Could even try moving. to stay positive look at what you did accomplish so I think there are times in our lives where we feel like we are stuck we aren't making progress we try new things but can't keep at them it is okay to start small Talk about doing a workout, but even going outside for a little walk every day is something. And perhaps going outside is difficult some days. Those times you could even try moving around in your own room, room a little bit. Try to stay positive and look at what you did accomplish. Let's add a sticker. Oh, do I not have any stickers? That's unfortunate. Maybe I can get some stickers later. Oh, I got one. There we go. Send it. There's another letter from M. A little hard to deal with trauma, especially when school is going to start again. How do you deal with it when trauma dealt with online toxic relationships is in hand with the new school setup, online schooling? Any advice, any advice would help. Shall we try answering this one? Of course, I'm also, I'm not a counselor or any pro or anything, but... The important part about this game, or just, even just real life, because these are real people. I think it's just, the feelings behind what we're saying. So trying to stay kind and positive and try to spread that to other people as well. And then when we feel down ourselves, we can hope to find other people and spread our kindness back to us. Dealt with, so this person dealt with online toxic relationships.
Nini environment. There can be... Uh, no heart. Hard experiences. That trouble us. But even if Something bad happened once. Hmm, it's difficult. Because you don't want to word it like. I don't know, it's like trivial matter, or like their worries are trivial. You, you want to approach it in a manner where you can show that you care about it. You understand it's difficult, but things will get better. environment there can be hard experiences that trouble us there are kind people out there who wish to help you you're not alone Unknowns can be scary. I guess the unknown can be scary. But there are also many good things to come. Things will get better. Wishing you the best of luck. Do I have any more stickers I can send? Here's one. My job as a special needs teacher is really stressful. I love teaching, but hate everything else that comes with it love to open an, my own cafe, but I'm scared of failure and losing all my savings. Anyone have advice?
Hmm, so this person is feeling stressed out from their job as a special needs teacher. They like teaching, but there's so many other things that come with it. Definitely let me feel overwhelming and stressful at times, can it? I was in that position, what would I want to hear? Try moving forward. One step at a time. you feel like you can't take it anymore? It's okay to take a break and think about things. You say that you love teaching, so maybe there are other teaching opportunities that are suited for you. Also sounds lovely. Could 
sure to what to say about the cafe. You're scared of failure and losing all your savings. Good. Look more into what's needed to start your own or try. Or start by trying to work at in others cafe to get experience. Wishing you the best of luck. So work can definitely feel overwhelming and stressful at times, can it? Try moving forward one step at a time. Feel like you can't take it anymore? It's okay to take a break and think about things. You say that you love teaching, so maybe there are other teaching opportunities better suited for you. A cafe also sounds lovely. You could look more into what's needed to start your own, or start by trying to work at another's cafe to get experience. Wishing you the best of luck. Let's put the stamp in there. Or a sticker. Send it off. I'll go back for a moment. So that's the game. Kind words. If there's anybody out there that has their own worries or is feeling overwhelmed, it's okay to reach out to people, and this is one way to do it. You can get feedback from people all around the world hoping to give you those kind words give you a start to get moving again and feeling a little bit more optimistic about what's to come. And even if things are not the best currently, things will get better in the future. Wishing everyone listening to this the best of luck. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you next time.